Hey, welcome to Graphic Policy Television, GPTV. I'm Brett. It's Wednesday, and that means it's new comic book day all across the world. Digital, physical, new comics are hitting shelves all over the place. It's like the best day of the week, if you ask me. So Marvel has hooked us up with two trade paperbacks to talk about this Wednesday. First is this volume of Mockingbird, volume two of the recent series that came out, as well as Captain America, Sam Wilson's volume four of the series. So we're gonna go with we're gonna go with Captain America, Sam Wilson. What's interesting is these two trade paperbacks and series are about as opposite as you can get. So this collects Captain America, Sam Wilson, number fourteen through seventeen by Nick Spencer, with all, uh, art by Paul Renaud, uh, Angel Unzueta, and John Rausch. And then there's also Captain America number 344 from 1968. Basically, this is, uh, it just feels like a reaction statement by writer Nick Spencer about the various state as he sees the world. It's very anti-left uh, in the opening and final chapter, not including the, the retro issue that's in here. But uh, the opening starts off with a uh, new flag smasher going and taking a senator hostage and trying to talk to both Captain Americas about uh, the rise of fascism and uh, how they need to band together to stop it. So Flag Smasher is the bad guy, the far left guy is the bad guy, and then the final chapter is an Ann Coulter-like character who is attacked by a group named the Bombshells who use terms like, oh, I just, I need to quote this directly, uh, stuff like, you know, this is a safe space. It's really, really bad writing. Uh, yeah, so the actual quotes are, yeah, this campus is a safe space for everyone but your, but, for everyone but you. Uh, your silent acquiescence is what empowers abusers and the culture of hate. Consider this your trigger warning. This is actual dialogue. Uh, you should be an ally, not helping to defend oppression culture. And yeah, so and when they get defeated, one actually says this is so oppressive or offensive. You know, as if you know being stopped from killing someone is an offensive thing. Uh, basically, it just feels like a comical version of what uh, someone thinks the left sounds like. It's not even a good spoof of it. And it's not even like a good commentary on it. Both are just so comically out there. It's kind of hard to do anything but laugh at how silly and just idiotic it is. Especially what's interesting is when uh, the series has basically been fairly interesting with having uh, Sam Wilson having to deal with Sons of Serpents and then being called not patriotic uh, by people and having hashtag against them and basically like an Alex Jones-like character going after him. You know, there's been a lot of interesting things and then you get to this and it just like, it doesn't just stumble, it basically falls down the stairs uh, and, and gets to the point where it's, it feels like it's almost a comical response to uh, one, Captain America Steve Rogers, which is the conservative narrative of really this series, and then also a writer Nick Spencer's response to uh, uh, statements lobbed towards him from the internet, what he uh, feels is, I guess, uh, a far left group. Uh, it's, it's kind of hard to not see this uh, being filtered by Nick Spencer's views on things. So it's, uh, it's comically bad. Let's, let's just go with that. Um, it doesn't even, I mean, it, it could say interesting things about immigration, it could say interesting things about uh, dreamers, it could say interesting things about uh, things like Alex Jones, but instead the most memorable stuff about it is someone saying, consider this your trigger warning, which, yeah, just, it's just, it's really bad. I mean, I, I can't even make, yeah, I, I can't justify it all. Uh, the, about the only thing good about this is there is one issue with Misty Knight where she picks up the shield and goes, takes on the slug, who's putting out uh, um, basically porn that makes it look like a bunch of female heroes and villains. Uh, that's actually pretty decent, but just go get that single issue. Don't get the trade for it. Um, yeah, so that retails for $17.99. Save your money. All right. On the polar opposite of something that's actually good, we've got Mockingbird Volume 2 uh, that wraps up this latest series. It's by Chelsea Kane, Kate Nemzik, uh, Sean Parsons, Rachel Rosenberg, and then there's uh, New Avengers number 13 through 14 
that also has uh, a Mockingbird. So this has got six, six issues, six through eight, which wraps up that series. Uh, it's, I think, really fantastic for the most part. Uh, I do have some issues with some things Chelsea Kane did as far as Mockingbird's history, and I think that a lot of that's debatable about um, uh, a certain character that pops up, and I really don't want to uh, ruin that and, and spoil it. But uh, there's, you know, a little, little retcon that goes on. I can see uh, things pro about it. I can see things con about it. But what the series can't be argued against is it's it wears its feminism on its sleeve. I mean, for Christ's sakes, the t-shirt on uh, the cover is asking me about my feminist agenda. Uh, the, the series created a huge firestorm. Chelsea Queen Kane received all sorts of abuse. Um, I don't see why. It's a great read. It's really entertaining, even if you might disagree with its politics or maybe disagree with some of the uh, the retcons that are going went in on it. Uh, overall, though, the story is still very fun. It's very funny. Chelsea does a fantastic job of blending action with humor. Uh, basically, it has uh, Mockingbird on a uh, on a cruise ship trying to solve a murder, and the cruise ship also has like a bunch of gaming geeks and cosplayers and uh, corgis. And it's just, it's fun. It's, it's funny, it's entertaining, it's really cute. There's some fantastic art to it. I didn't even show bother showing the, the Captain America art because I'm just, there's no point in buying it. Um, let me find some of the more humorous stuff out there. So we got stuff like this. Like, it's just, it's fun, it's cute, it's entertaining. Uh, you know, I would like to just see Marvel put out one giant... Um, volume with everything as opposed to it breaking up the way it is but uh you know that's still cool it's it, it is what it is um you know it, it wraps its stuff up and, and does it pretty well and you get some extra stuff because of it um yeah we get fun things like this i mean it's just it's a cute it's a fun series yeah let's just go with that if you want a fun comic with corgis especially go with this uh so as far as extras with this volume we get uh, covers for it. So some covers. As I said, there's the extra issues with uh, New Avengers. They're in the back. We get some character designs. All that for fifteen ninety nine. dollars uh, I think it's worth it. I might get the first volume and then just pick up the, the last three issues that you need of the series if you can find it. Uh, I would not be surprised if there's just one omnibus that's going to come out that's going to have all eight issues in it, which is probably the smarter thing to do. Uh, but overall, I really recommend Mockingbird. I've loved the first volume. The second volume is still very entertaining. Um, go for it. As far as extras with this, we'll, we'll, we'll do that. I, you know, I'll be good. We got some covers. And variants towards the back. And some sketches. So there are so, a little bit of extras, not tons in there. Uh, if you can't really tell, highly recommend this one. This one, not so much. Uh, it doesn't even, I think, shed a whole lot of light as to like the big overarching Secret Empire story going on. Uh, most of it's forgettable, and what is memorable is kind of laughably so at how bad it is. Uh, so, yeah, that's, that's where we're at. Two polar opposites on the spectrum as far as I'm concerned when it comes to quality and content. Um, if you are interested in either of these, you should go to your local comic book shop first to go get these. There is a link beneath this video, and it will help you find a shop near you. You know, go support your local comic book shop, you know, first and foremost. If you don't have a local comic book shop near you, there are two links beneath this video uh, for each book, or there should be two links for each book. Uh, one is to Things from Another World, and one's for Amazon. Amazon won't have this released for like two weeks, so not next Tuesday, but the Tuesday after. Things from Another World should have these out this week, so you can go get it from there. Obviously, they're both will probably be slightly cheaper than the uh, cover price, so you know you save a little bit. If you're into Marvel, if you're into comic books, you should go check us out every single day at graphicpolicy.com or on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, all at Graphic Policy, keeping it nice and consistent. So until next time, keep reading those comics. Make my marble and keep it geeky. Hey, thanks for watching the previous video from Graphic Policy Television. Just by watching, you help support our site. Thank you so much. Now, if you're watching these videos, you probably care about geeky things like movies, television, comic books, toys, games, video games, you name it. You can go and subscribe right now to our YouTube channel to stay in touch and catch all the new videos, or check out our website at graphicpolicy.com. There's a nice link 
on this end of the video. But as always, thank you for watching. Keep on rocking and keep it geeky.